Today, we're going to show you how to do the bento methodology inside of Coda. This is going to be a free template that you can jump in, get started, and refine your task management process. We're gonna give you a full guide and a tour of how to do this in today's video. Welcome everyone, it's Francesco here. Welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Now, you may remember a couple of months ago, actually in April of this year, we launched Bento, and it was an app on iOS and Android, and essentially, we have brought the Bento methodology to Coda. Now, for those who don't know, Coda is a no-code experience site that you can build your own apps from. It looks like a document, but you can build your own apps from it. Much like Notion, but with slightly some more advanced abilities within it. As you can see, we're going to use the Bento box template, which you can copy in the link description. So if you fancy checking it out, you can find that link there. This was not created by myself. This was created by the brilliant Seening from Coda and I'm very excited and very grateful that she has come on to um, basically dive into this and build this for us and reimagine Bento inside of Coda. So big thank you to her and it was a fantastic meeting her. Actually in the Southwest, she was very kind enough to come down and have a coffee with myself. So I really appreciate diving into and nerding out over many different stuff. Anyway, let's dive into this template. Now you can download this for yourself below. You can copy it into your workspace in Coda. So it's all free and you can find it how to do that below, don't worry. But let's show you how to use it. So you can see here, um, when you get started, this area, you can actually clear the sample data. We will in a moment, but I wanted to show you what the core concept is like. So inside of Bento, you have large, medium, and small compartment. You only get three tasks per day. And what the goal is, is to try and minimize, refocus your thinking, be a bit more mindful and intentional about what you choose for the task. So here we have one, write a report, email campaign, and yoga. And they've all been added to my Bento box for today. Now, the great thing about the, the methodology is what we want you to do is order them in, in terms of your intensity. So I typically like to do things quite intensely, like large task start, medium, small, so finish the day with less energy. And what you can do as well is use your focus mode to really zone in on that task and make sure you complete it with intention. So here we have large, medium, and small compartments, and I've added them all to my bento box. And up here I have a focus session. So I can start this focus session based on this. As you can see, maybe write report will be taking 90 minutes. So just simply drag that there and press start focus session. Now you can see that there's an hour and 29 minutes, etc., left. And if I wanted to, I could press time for a break or I could reset this here. So that's a really nice focus feature for when you're actually getting started with the tasks. But how do you go about actually putting the tasks in? So let's just reset this for demonstration purposes. And as you can see here, I'm gonna clear some of the sample data. So if I go over to list view, this is a view where I'm gonna see everything that's coming up. Now I can add a task, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this one open. Now let's say it is something like uh, write bento article. I can select a date today in reference, and naturally you can see that today box has already been associated. I can actually add this as my large item because typically writing is quite a large task. And you can see here that I'm estimating 90 minutes. I'm gonna add this to my bento box and I'm going to go back to my bento box page and I can see that it's already there. Now, if I go back into my list view, what I can do is I can organize an email campaign, say, as my next task. And I can naturally give it 45 minutes to focus on and give it my medium item, add it to my bento box, and I go back and it's in my bento box. So if I go and uh, add a final one, maybe 15 minute meditation, because sometimes a nice mindful activity can be good, and it's my small compartment, 15 minutes and bang in my bento box. I can go back and I can see that all here. Now, the list view doesn't limit you to actually adding more tasks. So if I wanted to add some for Monday, then I could go, okay, here's a medium task, 45 minutes. Likely it's gonna take me, if I'm like write newsletter, maybe that's not going to be something that's that important. But what I can do is I can see the next week and I can narrow that down here. And if I want to, I can quickly open and this to the bento box from here. I can even add some notes down below. Notes are quite helpful for building out context to the certain item and you can add links down here and use a slash command to access a bunch of other stuff that you would typically find inside of Coda. Now, down here, naturally, they've got all the filters set up so you don't need to, but if you wanted to search something, you can do. 
and there are settings over here if you want to get a bit of context to what the entire experience looks like in terms of the back end side of stuff. But here I actually have the items ready to do for the day. And if I was completing these, I could naturally say email campaign done and my box would still appear and naturally I could see that. But tomorrow it would be a fresh box. So what the Bento box acts as is more of like a, a time to see what your core focus tasks are. You can add more, but the Bento box is like having that intentional focus and, and clear vision for the day. So I really hope that you enjoyed this Coda template. Thank you again to Seening for creating such a fantastic template. And I'm very excited to see how people will use it below if you decide to go ahead with it. If you wanted to use our separate app, you can download it on iOS and, and Android. You can find the links in the description, but you can also check out Coda for free. A big thanks to their team for helping to share this one out and show some of the flexible capabilities that you can do with Coda. So folks, a big, big thank you. Hopefully you enjoy the Bento Box template inside of Coda, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you very much. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you're interested in checking out some more, you'll find them here. And also you can subscribe to as well. It'd be great to have you here to optimize your tool. And if you're interested in our new email newsletters or our Bento application, or even Tool Finder, which is a new tool that we've created to help you find the perfect productivity tool, you can find it linked in the description.